Good afternoon, Jules fans. Welcome back to another Match Day Live from Jules in the Blood TV. Myself and Boz currently with you, and we will be joining Stocky and some others in the ground. Currently walking to the Priest Field ahead of Gillingham versus South End United. Just taking a view of that. Wow. It's beautiful, isn't it? Very retro. It is very retro. Um, anyway, on that tangent, <laughs> team news is in, Boz. Three changes from last week's catastrophe. Who comes out? Kubiak, Tucker, and Pringle. Pringle yeah, and who comes in? Uh, Ollie Lee, Michael and Jolly, and Stuart O'Keefe. Stuart O'Keefe, who had an impressive 18 seconds after. Yeah, I think he's in on the fact that he didn't have enough time to make mistakes <laughs> like the rest of the, uh, the team last Martin week. To, to play. Yeah, I was wanting us to see us get. Uh, <laughs> They're like, that'll be stocky. I wanted to see us have Lee, Pringle and Marshall all in the same start at 11, but it's not happened. Um, I think Pringle after last week, I think he deserved to drop two in for the past week. Yeah, if he was doing that, though, we wouldn't <laughs> have, <laughs> doing that, we wouldn't have a team today. Because <laughs> remember, we only have a bottom four budget and we've got a very small squad. <laughs> if you've not heard Steve Evans mention it 87 million times. No, uh, I don't when we spoke in the car and said he's dropped right off, and he when was it he was ill and missed the, he was only on the bench, and he's not been great since then, unfortunately. But I'm sure he'll come good again. Happy about the fact that we're going to go back four again? Yeah, I don't think Jack Tucker's done a lot wrong. I just think, like you said last week, he's done it through us. No, it's like we stumbled across it for half hour against Bristol Rovers, and then thought, oh, because we got a point, we better play it against Ipswich. And then we sacked it off at half time. Then we went back to it last week against Oxford and sacked it off at half time again. I hope Tom O'Connor had a better game today. Yeah, he was. His highlight last week was riding that player from half an end for the pitch. That's how good we were, that was a highlight. <laughs> right, I did my score prediction on Thursday's match preview and I said Gillingham 3, South End 1. I did predict Mikhail and Jolly to score 2. And I think I predicted someone who's not in the team to score the other. So, what are you thinking, mate? I said a nervous 2-1, and before I saw the team, I called you Kubiak to score both, and I'm still going to stick with that. So two from the bench? Yeah. So you think we might be 1-0 down and he's going to have to come on and change it? Yeah. Marvellous stuff. We right. don't keep playing sheets, do we? So. We're not the best at it, to be fair, no. Can't be any worse than last week, that's what I'm glad No, about. I think we'll be fine today, I think we'll get a reaction. Right, we've got to go and buy, stop his ticket for him, because he's late, and we shall see you all in the ground. Joined as ever by Stocky now and Glenn before I kick off. Uh, players are out warming up. How are we, boys? We good? Yeah, not yeah. bad, mate. Yeah, not bad. Not bad. Seen the team? Yeah. Thoughts? Well, I'll be honest with you, mate. My thoughts were the 11 that put on the shirt today need to step up from last week. I never really looked at the names too closely. I just want the 11 that pulled on that shirt, played with a bit of pride and a bit of really determination today and commitment. Um, that, that's my thoughts, you know. So that's for me. I haven't really, I mean, Kieran told me what it was, but it, I just sort of built it out. Get it done, guys, today. That's all I can say. You've been picked today by the manager on merit or for whatever reasons. Get it done. We need to win today. And for me, it's a must win uh, for the fans, for those that suffered last week at Oxford. Um, we, we just need to get this done. We let a team last week full of confidence, play with confidence, and we got absolutely battered. Now, today, we need to play on the front foot, get in the front face of South End, who are back in confidence, won one game, didn't have a shot on target last week. Now this is perfect, and I think we need to just do it. You're, on, you're wearing that shirt today for a reason, so do it. And that's me today, mate, sorry. Stoppy, um, in regards to the system, it looks like we've gone back to a back four. I said to Boz, coming up to the ground, that I think it's, it's better that we've gone back to a back four, because our best performance has been with that back four. Yeah, definitely. And echoing what Glenn said, I had a similar feeling walking to the ground as well. For me, last week was an absolute nightmare. So when the team was announced, you, you can't be looking at it going, oh, I'm glad next year's starting, I'm glad wide starting, because everyone was scored last week. That's and a year. We, we'd have, if we had a big enough score, we could have ever taken yeah. everyone out apart from Jack Bonham. So, as Glenn said, I think the boys need to give us 
performance today. I don't think it'd be the best again. Southend aren't in great form. We aren't in exactly great form ourselves, but hopefully we get a win. I think it is a must-win game today as well. Um, in regards to the system, and Jolly's come back in. He's not featured for a while, so it'll be interesting to see how he gets on. One thing I'll say about Injoli is he's a good finisher. I think we need to give him some opportunities. Uh, he will score. You know, he's, he's proven a couple of goals he's scored this season here. Been, been good finishes. He's got a ball for nothing. Um, and let, let's feed him the ball. Let, let's play some football today. Let's not pump up a high ball to Hanlon, the six foot five defender, you know, up the back of him. It's, the ball's, it's ball's not going to work. in the right area, don't yeah. they? Like you say, they don't need to be whacked up there. And yeah. That's the trouble with us too, too much this season. We've lumped it up to Hanlon, and that's not his game. No, he's not going to win a header against a six foot five defender. It's, it's not going to happen, so let's play to our strengths. Let's get it wide, let's get it on the floor, let's get some pace up there. Um, let's see what, and the word, again, the word I've seen in the programme today from Steve Evans is reaction. Yeah, apparently on Monday, on Monday everyone came in determined, and obviously there was a realisation it wasn't acceptable. So let's see how that translates this afternoon. So, in terms of a score prediction? Sorry, I'm distracted. Uh, score prediction, I'm going to. There he is. Hey, you going, Tommy? He's a big fan of the viewers of the club, too. Um, I'm going to go with 2-1 for the viewers. I've gone 3-1 uh, for the viewers. Uh, Kieran also has gone 2-1. Um, I'm going to go 2-1 for the viewers. I think we have three different scores today. 3-2-1s three and 3-3-1s, three, three I think, then. So, all positive. Yeah. Let's hope it stays that way. Let's hope it comes the final with it. Yeah. 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 Snapshot turned away by it's actually anything goes. But we started right here, haven't we? How often do we say that though? Yeah, we've got away with two of them. I thought Mark Burnham full of both were foul throws, but we're staying with this for the corner. Good delivery. Well defended in fairness. No foul. Uh, foul by Tom O'Connor just inside their arm. Still nil nil. Pops it to another corner of the Jules after a smart stop from a Brandon Hanlon shot. Ollie Lee floats it in. Defending on the far post, gone out the other side for another corner. Two good chances, well not good chances, but two decent efforts from our front two, and again, the Oxford's made two decent stops. I mean, you'd expect him to make both of them, in fairness, but we started on the front foot, which is a good sign. So Ollie Lee's doing all the set pieces then. Here it comes, in swinging, Max Amar, flashed oh, across goal! I don't know how much Amar got on it, but... Mark Burns on the go on Alfie Jones. Squared it for Shaws! He saved it. Ollie Lee and Oxley's made an absolute world in this time, run himself across and kept it out. Jill's on the front foot though with seven minutes on the clock. This is our third corner. Fourth, Ollie Lee, out swinger. It's near post again. He's gone back to him, come on second chance, Ollie. He's been charged down. The first corner was really good and he's gradually got worse with each one since then, unfortunately. Stay with this a set. Harry Fuller to throw in. Yeah, yeah. 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 Alfie Jones, no. It's broken down and they're looking to break. Get out of this side, still nil-nil with 23 plays. Free kick to Jules here, wide on our left, about 20 yards out from goal. Holly Lee to swing it in. Yeah, you'd hope you don't hit the first man here. Hopefully we get to see it. That's better. Hanlon! Oh! Brandon Hanlon. Six yards out in the middle of the goal, should hit the target, shouldn't he, I think? 
Yeah. We still look the more likely without creating anything really clear cut. Nil nil half hour play. Paul at the South End here, boss. This is their first one, isn't it, I think? Stephen McLaughlin. Good delivery, but Mark Berman is good header. Can Johnny get there first? Yes, we can break it, we can break it. Give it, give it, give it, give it, give it, give it! Just slowed it down. Ollie Lee's trying to pick him out of the far post. Split oh, no key for the back post. That's well for Jones. Second chance, that's a foul. All three kick here, watch, 20 yards out, central to goal, big chance. Good break though, wouldn't it? Decent break, we've done well from the uh, initial oh, corner. It was a needless corner, wasn't it? Yeah, a little bit, but we defended it well, and now it go left all right. It's got to be Ollie Lee, isn't it, I think? Ollie Lee lining this up, if the referee ever gets out of the yeah, way, we'll stay right. with it. He's having a conversation with the wall, we'll be with you in 10 minutes. You'd be clever and try and go underneath if they jump, but just make sure you get the target. Here it comes. Goal kick, he's just rifled it into the away support. That was um, not worth the wait. On the altar, the Jules, um, after a flat period in fairness, boss, would it? Sit down quickly. Ball got played into the box and cleared after a Mikhail and Jolly and Cross and Alfie Jones tries to volley it and he's taken a huge deflection in fairness, hasn't it? But, nah. That's the main thing, it has gone in. So, one nil up with two minutes to play until half time. It'd be great if we can get in at the break leading. Yeah, I think so. On the whole, we've been the better side. So nearly two. Ollie Lee's crushed one off the bar and onto the line. Ball gets played into the box, Burn heads it back. I think it's saved one, I think. Really Kenny, it's another good... Is it off the ball or off the line? It's bounced down, obviously no VAR at this level, so all gold line technology. But we're on top now, it's probably going to be half time at the wrong time now. Still lead, let's get into half time, make sure we're still leading at the break. I'm here at the Priestfield and I'm joined by Stocky. We lead 1-0, Stock. Been a decent performance, aren't it? Yeah, it's not been too bad. Um, certainly had our chances to start and it would have been frustrating not to have gone in and break a goal up. And I think we needed that little bit of luck with going shot, just taking a nick of the defender on the way in. Yeah, we've created more chances on top of the goal, though, haven't we? I mean, Brandon Allen should score his head from where we are. Yeah, it looks like he's six yards out in the middle of the goal. Yeah, and I think Ollie Lee's just before half time where he's hit the ball, it looks easier to score, to be honest, isn't it? I think he's, he's gone for the glory. Yeah, and yeah. yeah. he probably just guide it in the corner and we go in two nil up. But aside from that, I think Oxley made a good save from, well, decent saves from and Jolly and Hannon early on. The best of the lot was probably the one with Ollie Lee when he's got one way and had to fling his arm out the other. Yeah, yeah, it's been good. I mean, Zappin, that really created two months in the middle of the Coming out to smuggle one shot, but other than that, I don't think he's... I don't think he's had a save to make. I think they've had one or two corners, and generally, I think we've been... Connor Overfield, I thought, was absolutely superb first period. Yeah, I mean, it's been, a, it's been solid, but not spectacular, but the important thing for me today is winning the game. Um, it's going to be nice if we can try and second half start on the front foot, front foot and uh, get a few more goals. Yeah, it's all about getting the job done today just to get last week out of the system, I think, isn't it? Yeah, but... Oh, they're, they're four, though, aren't they? You can tell why they're only above. Well, they're not even above Wimbledon. Now, Wimbledon are 3 0 up at the break, so they're only above Bolton as it stands, I think. And that's because Bolton have got points deduction. But all in all, it's been a decent first half so far, and we do lead 1 0. Sight. We should be out of sight. Yeah, it's a bit like Bolton again. This could have been like Bolton. To be fair, to their keeper, I think he should have stopped that piece. Oh, yeah. 
made a really good save there as well, yeah. Corner from Ollie Lee coming in now. Oh. Like Zaymar, if it was meant, it was quite good, but I'm not sure it was. Stay with this, we've got to throw in. Oh, as long as we don't do anything stupid, yeah. 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 We don't like them, do we? Look so comfortable, been the better team, and then they take a quick free kick, which we don't react to. And like you said, it looks like it's gone straight through Jack Bonham. But suddenly they're back in the game, and we've just got to be a little bit careful. Then Simon Cox, it is, it's just been given to. It's all him or McLaughlin. But we just need to keep doing what we're doing all the time. We'll stay with us again. It's our ball if it goes. 2 1, Cox just tips over the 58 minutes. Down to 10 men now, we'll stay here a minute, we'll cut back to this. Come on, Mick and Jolly! Get your head up! Come on! No! Oh! Should be free, Brandon shaved the post in the edge of the box. Before that, they're down to 10 men, boss. Geezer come on in what, the 55th minute? Decided to then launch himself into a tackle at Barry Fuller not two minutes later. So, it's all about game management for us now. They're a shambles at the back if we stay on top. Um, but we've just got to be clever with how we play the game, don't we? Yeah, just like now with the extra man that we can take the sting out of things and see this out, but still a long way. And I the jewels, Stone Wall of Boss. Big and Johnny gets away, and. Oh, I don't know. It doesn't matter, there's no double jeopardy rule, really. You have to, if you're only, if you're trying to bring him down on purpose. Big and Johnny's picked it up. I think it's been really good. Carl and Jolly steps back, we're just waiting for the referee's whistle. Come on, Mika. He's in the post and he's gone out for a goal kick. Oh, chances to put it to bed and we haven't. It's from Mick to five minutes, it's another penalty to Gillingham. Max has been tripped in the box, but the ball did go in as well. But I think the penalty was given first. I don't know what's happening. Oh, Mick Allen, Johnny, he's picked it up again. This is huge now, you feel this is massive. Stay with it again. Deja vu, it's Mick Allen, Jolly versus Mark Oxley, part two. Come on, Mika. He saved it with his two penalties. I don't believe this. What is going on? We should be out of sight, it should be done and dusted. Unbelievable. Stay with the corner, out to He's pulling a Marshall referee. How is that free kick the other way? Wow. Still to Marshall.
are back in the car now after today's game at the Mems Priestfield Stadium and it finished Gillingham 3, South End United 1. Mad deserve. second yeah, half, but we definitely crazy. deserve to win the game. So what happened in the second half? So we scored almost right from kickoff. Yep. Okay. Then South End brought on a guy who we think's name's Aqua. Something he like was, that. He uh, was, was it subbed on in the 58th? Not them that sing Barbie Girl. No. Booked in the 63rd and sent off in the 66th. And in between that time, they'd scored to get back into it. Yeah, I forgot that. The one that went on the bottom, yeah. Then we got a penalty. But yeah, we did. Mikel and Johnny at the penalty. post. That was unlucky. Then two minutes later, we got another penalty. <laughs> Blatant penalty. Keeper saved it for Mikael and Jolly. Yeah. After doing a lot of gardening with our penalty spot. We then have a corner. Max Lamar gets fouled. So we think. And he doesn't give the third one. Don't know why. Just not very nice of him, really, was it? But then... Mark Marshall's pile driver. Oh, Mark Marshall. <laughs> it wasn't the best effort. We'll just leave it there. Scuffed it. Mark Opsley spilled it. And Brandon Anlon deservedly scored the third I mean, goal. I it's a it. poor one, isn't it? Like, the keeper, he literally sort of spills it a few yards out. It's right at him, isn't it? It's not yeah, even to the side of really him. It's really tame. It's not got any power behind it. But in terms of a 90 minutes, we definitely deserved to win the game, didn't yeah, we? I we think created I mean, all the chances. Probably 15 minutes either side of them getting a player sent off. I think we were the better side. Yeah, but again, they didn't really false bottom no, in the save, did they? No, they into the box, weren't they? And we looked like we were under the cost for a little while, but no, all in all, I think we deserved it. Yeah, definitely. And it could have been double the three that we've scored. We've hit the bar, we've had a goal disallowed, we've missed two penalties. We've Oxley's probably made a couple two of headers, saves two headers we should score. Yep, like you say, Oxley's made two good saves. Brandon Allen, sponsors man of the match. Yeah. His, there was plenty though, weren't there? Yeah, I don't he think. Socks off again. He just, he just doing what he done last season. Slow start, and he just seems to keep getting better and better. And he thoroughly deserved it. And you said he type of goal you want him to score. Yeah, and he wasn't played as the main striker though. No, he was almost just off of and jolly, yeah. weren't he? Um, but yeah, really, really good. In Fair jolly, play to and jolly. Obviously, the first one's missed. You then get a second one. He's got the ball to step up and take it. He then looked like he wanted the world to swallow him up, didn't he? Yeah, bless but him. And then he kept going to the end, to be fair, and he still had an impact, and it wasn't a bad performance for him. There were some outrageous just, um, pieces of skill from him during that yeah. game. There's other bits that I he doesn't the, do um, well. For but the first goal, when he gets into the box, has a couple of step overs, and he He's uh, one that digs out the cross, yeah. yeah. And then it breaks to Alfie Jones, and his shot gets deflected in. It was a, it was a decent performance from Mika and Jolly, I think. It's just people shouting abuse at him. We have to remember the kid's 20. Yeah, and... Again, they're, they're moaning at him a lot of the time when it's not when he's in the box, you know, which is where he should be. It's when he's out wide and sometimes, I know in the first half, he beat three or four players and he had an outrageous bit of skill and you think, offload, offload, yeah. and, and he just keeps it just a little bit too long. That's my only criticism. But that'll come with time, surely, won't yeah. it? If, when the more he learns how to play the game at senior level. Um, Stuart O'Keefe, best performance in a dual shirt? Yeah, probably the first time that I thought he looked decent. That's without, even before the goal, I thought he was very good yeah, in the first quality, half. Yeah, quality first half, really, really good. Took his goal well and helped us see it out eventually. So, all in all, a really good afternoon, a really good performance. Crazy 15 minutes, second period. But the biggest thing is, three points. points. And the home record now is, what is it, you say? 10, Ten points from 18, so three wins, a draw and two defeats, Just I believe. need to pick up a few more points away. And it's like we flipped it on its head again. Yeah, we have. <laughs> but yeah, it's something to build on, and hopefully we can go to Portsmouth next week and, and put on a decent show better than Oxford last Portsmouth. week oh yeah it could still be called off anyway that's enough of me and Boz for this afternoon thanks as always for watching and listening to us we hope you've enjoyed today's match day live as much as we have and until next time up the Jills <laughs>